Welcome back to Game Gods. Today we go over Roblox blocks fruit codes you need to use. So we hope you're excited for this video and if you are make sure to slap the like button on this video and possibly even comment. But before we start we ask for you to click that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications. We post content just like this very video and it would be a shame if you missed out on any of it. Anyways, with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. It might actually shock you. Dealing the highest damage in Factory Raid. Due to a bug, the last person dealing damage gets the fruit instead. Successfully defending Castle on the Sea from Pirate NPCs and defeating the Tanky NPC. Players can also defeat the Ship Raid to obtain a random fruit, there is a very low chance of getting one. This is also one of the sea events that can happen. Buying a fruit from the Blocks Fruit Dealer or the Blocks Fruits Dealer Cousin. The price of the fruit from the Blocks Fruits Dealer Cousin depends on the player's level. The prices of the Blocks Fruit Dealer is always the same no matter the level. The Blocks Fruits Dealer has a stock and the Blocks Fruits Dealer Cousin gives the player a random physical fruit. The first two codes are a mystery, EXP underscore 5B and Reset underscore 5B. The next code will give you a surprise, Kit Gaming. This next one gives you two times experience and it's all worth it, just try entering it in. Before you ruin your chances because all of these are limited time only. Sub to Fair999. Let's explain a 2x drop a bit, because this next code will give you 2x drop. 350 will double the player's chance for an NPC to drop an item. For example, if the drop chance of an item was 10%, with this code it would be increased to 20%. Many players in the community argue that this game pass is sort of pointless since it does not show any significant change in your luck. And the code is ENYU underscore is underscore pro. This next code gives you 2x experience, Magic Bus. And just like the last one, this one also gives you 2x experience, JCWK. And this next one also gives you 2x experience, Star Code HEO. This next one is different as it gives you 20 minutes of 2x experience. Bluxy. And the next code will give you Belli. FUD10 underscore V2. This next one is cool as you get 30 minutes of 2x experience. Sub2 Gamer Robot underscore EXP1. With this next code you get a stat reset. Sub2 Gamer Robot underscore Reset1. This next one will give you 15 minutes of 2x experience. Sub to Noob Master 123. Ever wanted a stat refund? Well, this next code will give you that. Sub to Uncle Kizaru. This next one gives you 15 minutes of 2x experience. Sub to Diagrock. This next one gives you 20 minutes of 2x experience. Axior. And this next one gives you 15 minutes of 2x experience. Tantai Gaming. But also, be careful for cheaters and exploiters. Exploiting or cheating is unfair to all Roblox players and creates a poor experience for everyone. These actions are a violation of the Roblox terms of use and will lead to the deletion of an account. Many exploits are scams to get you to download malware such as a keylogger or other phishing program that can be used to steal personal information you have on your computer, including your Roblox password. Don't exploit, it's not worth it. If you see someone asking for passwords or other personal information, posting off-site links, attempting to exploit or sharing exploits, please use the report abuse buttons located throughout the site and in every experience menu. Reporting allows the moderators to remove the content and moderate the accounts for these rule violations. So with that, an exploit is the use of glitches and software vulnerabilities in Roblox by a player to alter the game or gameplay for an unfair advantage. Exploits have been defined as a form of cheating. Some exploits are in the form of programs or injectable DLL files, which explicitly break the Roblox TOS and can lead to a permanent ban by Roblox. An example would be the popular hacking GUIs in which many exploiting tools are put in the form of a GUI for the player. Other exploits take advantage of flaws in the game scripts or building. A good example would be the infamous no-clip glitch in Jailbreak, where players can take advantage of the crawl script and thin walls to get into otherwise inaccessible areas. Such exploits are not bannable by Roblox, but players caught doing this can be banned by a developer if the game has moderation infrastructure, like an admin script. Many users believe that the correct term for programs that change Roblox for a player's advantage is exploiting, and others believe hacking is the correct term. 
However, hacking is the act of gaining unauthorized access to a system while exploiting a vulnerability to do the same. There will be people who try to ruin the game for you. What did you guys think about today's video? Let us know in the comment section below. Well anyways, thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe. Also, watch the two videos on screen because I'm sure you'll love them. And with that, I'll see you in the next Roblox video. Goodbye.